Today we are going to be discussing the clothing that you should wear as well as the clothing you shouldn't wear during a lab session and the gear that is available for your protection in a lab. I suppose I can start with myself. Um, I am wearing a short sleeve shirt, sweatpants, and closed toe shoes with um, kind of like a, a fake leather. Shoes that you would want to wear most likely should or should be uh, closed toed. It's not exactly very pertinent for you to wear closed toed shoes. However, something like this uh, is easily cleaned um, because if you drop, say, the gel that we work with for filling the cap, filling the electrodes in the cap, um, it can dry and it could be pretty difficult to get off if you are wearing uh, sneakers that have like, say, like breathable holes in it or just for like flexibility. Um, but it could seep into that and cause you to have a bit of a difficult time trying to clean it. As well as, uh, if, say, you have a pair of shoes that are like suede, that's still the same um, issue with it being a fabric. It's a bit hard to get it off. Um, this also protects you from side if you somehow get it onto your feet. For sweatpants, this is kind of more of a, a, a pair of clothing that I, I really wouldn't care about, but that's, that's the big thing. If you are wearing something that you like, say, like, this t-shirt I would most likely not want to wear to um, a lab session. I would probably wear a TCNJ related t-shirt as I have say like two pairs of them. Um, and given that I don't really care about getting one of them dirty. But for sweatpants, most likely you might have a lot more uh, different pairs of them. So something like that you most likely would want to wear. Uh, also it's good if you wear something that you don't care about getting dirty or if you have a bunch of, um, like I said, with t-shirts. But going to shirts, uh, long sleeves are a good option. Also, t-shirts are a good option. T-shirts uh, help you when working with the participant uh, and fitting the cap. Uh, this allows you for a little bit more uh, dexterity, I guess you could say, with um, filling the cap uh, electrodes with gel as the sleeves don't get in the way of when you're doing that. You don't have to worry about getting any of the gel on your clothing. However, with the long sleeves, they're a bit of a preventative with um, the Enviroside, which is found down here um, in this cabinet labeled with Enviroside, but this is the bottle. It, you shouldn't get it on your skin. It can, um, if you do, it can cause like a warm feeling and does have a warning label saying do not get it on your skin, um, which you can read if you are more interested in that. Moving on for uh, the gear that's in the lab, we have the disposable gloves and the masks, which are in this drawer. At the moment, it's just the gloves, uh, but you will be using these for when you are working with the Enviroside. Um, cleaning the, the cap, you can use them throughout the entire cleaning uh, part of uh, the lab. This allows you to just not have to wash your hands too much. However, I would still suggest that you do, um, given that you should be doing this throughout your entire session when working with anything that's been come in contact with the uh, research participant. Um, but this is just a preventative from getting any of the chemicals on your skin. Um, up here, we have a disposable gown, which is found in this drawer right here. It can cover your entire upper body, of course, but also your full arms. So if you were to wear this with, say, if you weren't able to change your clothing when you come into a lab, this would be a good option to wear if you're really worried about getting stuff on your clothing, um, as it covers your entire arm um, and pants or any, like, say, skirt that you like. If you're wearing that, it will keep you clean. The, they look like this, by the way, in this little package. Um, and as it is, they are disposable, so just throw them out when you are done with them. There's no need to put them back in the container. Um, or in the drawer, just throw them off. Um, moving on, since we're here, masks are a very big part of the lab. These are K95s. However, you can take masks from the lab, but you should use only one. Um, we use these particularly for giving to research participants um, who come in without a mask, given COVID, and just any other sickness they're supposed to come in. So if you really need a mask, you can take one. But what you can do is put your initial, full name, whatever you want to do, just you can put it on a mask and you can put it up in this drawer. You can do the same with the face shields, we'll get to those later, but 
put your initials on here and then try to consistently use it. Try to reduce um, the in lab uh, mask use to just the research participants um, until you get your own supply. Moving on to the face shields. Um, if you have glasses, use those over your contacts. They can provide an extra uh, point of protection. You all, it also uh, provides the ability for you not have to not have to use the face shields. Um, in combination with a mask, they can provide a full face covering, pretty much. Um, not as much as the face shield, but um, just enough for it to be comfortable and you're able to, be able to move around. Um, but glasses are pretty useful in the lab. Um, as you can see, I wear glasses. I personally prefer to use them when I'm cleaning, um, just also in general. Uh, I don't wear contacts, so I usually walk around with my glasses, but in the lab I found them very useful as I don't have to worry about anything getting to my eyes and I also don't have to use really use the face shield. It just, um, glasses really alleviate the need to use a face shield. Um, but if you do, do the same thing as you would with masks, put your name or uh, initials on the face shield and then put it up in this drawer. Jewelry is a, another thing that we could talk about. Uh, if you have any soft materials, say like a gold ring um, or bracelets, you might want to take those off if you're really worried about it. Uh, that's being said because with uh, the saline gel that you're working with, it could get on the on your bracelets, uh, soak into the uh, the bracelets. Say if you're working with Enviroside, that would be pretty bad, of course, because you don't want to have that on your skin. So taking off your bracelets or just putting them in your backpack or just not wearing them when you come into the lab uh, alleviates that worry. Um, I can say from experience that I've had some, uh, I'm not wearing any bracelets right now, but one of the uh, fabric ones uh, that I've worn during lab has gotten gel in it and it was really difficult to get off. Um, not terribly difficult, but it was just like, now that I got it on there, it's dried and it was just really difficult to get off. For the rings, similar uh, to the bracelets, uh, you can get them gunked up with the, the gel. It is easy to wash off, but if it's a soft material, you most likely don't want to get water on it too often, especially if you wear it um, every day. So taking it off kind of just, of course, alleviates that worry. Uh, also, you don't have to get it dirty if you don't wear it. Um, as for that, that's it. The um, other important thing with any attire that you're, wanna, that you're wearing or uh, stuff that you don't want to wear, um, this can be alleviated or this can help you change out of your clothing is by being able to have time from say your last class to when you have your lab. So for example, if you have a 320 um, class and then your lab is at 330, that is your class ends at 320. You don't have enough time to change out of any nice clothing that you're wearing and make it to the lab on time. The amount of time that you should be able to get to get to the lab is 15 minutes before it actually officially starts. So a good idea would be to have your lab scheduled on 30 minutes of time for you to be able to get there. So you have 15 minutes to get to your lab and then you have the 15 minutes when you're finally there to be able to do anything that you need to do when you um, get there if it hasn't been um, done yet. Um, it's always good to be there ahead of time. So if you are wearing stuff that you like, switch out of it. If you already have are wearing stuff that you don't really care about, then this is great because now you have enough time to get to the lab.